Hi guys, I hope you're all keeping well and safe. Welcome to Early Years Matters TV. On this channel, we focus on everything early childhood related. And if these are the kind of videos you're looking for or they have to do, subscribe. And not just subscribe, turn on that notification bell so that whenever a new video is being dropped on this channel, you'll be the first person to be notified. Today, I've got an interesting topic. I'm going to be talking about holistic development in early childhood care education. Yes, so this video is all about giving an overview of what holistic development in early childhood care education is all about. Are you an early childhood educator, an early childhood care education student? You've heard a lot about holistic development in early childhood and you're wondering, you need a little bit explanation in relation to what holistic development in early childhood is all about. Don't worry, I'm going to break it down. So let me start by defining holistic. So what is holistic development? Holistic development is all about taking a total approach to child development. When you hear the word holistic development in early childhood care and education, it's all about taking a total approach to development is all about not focusing on one strand of child development, be it physical, intellectual, language, emotional, social, cultural, spiritual development of the young child. It's taking a total approach to child development, looking at how you can incorporate every aspect of child development, which is what holistic development in early childhood is all about. It's taking a total approach to child development, it's focusing on the overall development of the young child. How you can support the overall development of the young child, not just focusing on how you're going to support or promote the physical development or one one aspect of the child's development for instance maybe physical is all about thinking of how you're going to support the overall development of the young child taking a total approach to child development this is what holistic development in early childhood care and education is all about so now let's break it down so in terms of physical development is all about the fine and gross motor skills you might be wondering what is fine what is gross motor skills? So fine motor skills has to do with the young child using their fingertips. Anything that has to do with the young child using their fingertips. For instance, in relation to promoting the fine motor skills of the young child, you could engage the child in, for instance, activities such as maybe coloring, painting. So when the child is coloring, is painting, definitely they are going to be using their fingertips. For instance, if they are scribbling as well, as I'm scribbling, this has to do with the young child using their fingertips. It could also be tying their shoelaces. If they're tying their shoelaces, they're using their fingertips as well to tie their shoelaces. It could be buttoning their shirt, putting on their coat. So all of this has to do with the young child using their fingertips. It could be painting, tidying up after themselves as well. Yes, they're tidying up after themselves. They're using their fingertips. So anything that has to do with the young child using their fingertips is called fine motor skills. So now let's talk about gross motor skills. Gross motor skills has to do with anything that has to do with young child using their whole body. They're moving around using their whole body. It could be simple things such as running. So if the child is running, it involves the run using their whole body. For instance, it could be hide and seek. If they're hidden in hide and seek, they're definitely going to be running around. They're hiding. Someone is trying to catch them or they're trying to catch someone. It could be skipping as well or pink football. So all of this has to do with the young child using their whole body. They're running around. It could be hopping. It could be keeping. It could be jumping. So they're using their whole body. So this is what physical development in early childhood care and education is all about. Fine. So now let's talk about intellectual or cognitive development. So when it has to do with intellectual or cognitive development, it has to do with anything that has to do with the child using their imagination processing things. So this is what intellectual or cognitive development is all about. They're going to use their imagination, their good think. So now let's talk about some of the activities that you could use to protect the development of the young child. It could be simple things such as asking them open-ended questions. Yes, try to stay away from asking them a yes or no question. For instance, if you ask them a yes or no question, it's definitely going to be yes or no. Do you like your dinner? Is it going to be yes or no? But if you have some questions such as, what would you like to have for dinner? So they are going to think, it has to do with the young child using their imagination. What would, you like, what would I like to have for dinner? What would you like to play with? Would you like sample or watch a play? So it has to do with the young child thinking whether they prefer sample or watch a play. But one thing I'm going to emphasize is as an early childhood care and education, as an 
When you're asking the young child open-ended questions, you need to give them the opportunity to think. It has to do with the young child using their imagination. So they need to connect the dots. You're asking them a question, they have to think. It's just the same way if someone asks you a question, are you going to spend your weekend? So you're going to think about the plans that you have for your weekend. So we need to into consideration as well. When we're talking to young children, you're asking them questions. What would you like to eat? What would you like to play with? What would you like to do? So it's an open-ended question. They have to think. And you need to consider we're talking about the young children, the early childhood. Perhaps we're talking about children from bad to six or bad to eight. It depends on the contents of the country that you're based in. So it has to do with thinking, giving them the trend, the opportunity to be able to think what would they like to do. So now let's talk about language development. So language development is all about the non-verbal and verbal communication. Please take note of this. When we're talking about language development, it's all about the non-verbal and verbal communication. But sometimes people tend to focus on the verbal communication, you're talking to me. But what about the non-verbal communication, which is important? And research has proven that majority of the language development comes from the non-verbal communication, the way things are said, which is really important. So non-verbal communication, such as the facial context, we're talking about the facial expression here, we're talking about the posture, we're talking about the attitude. So all of this has to do with non-verbal communication as well. So language communication is obviously the young child is using their words, you know, talking to you. For instance, if you ask them a question such as, what would you like to do? So when you're asking them, what would you like to do? Look at their mood as well, the facial expression. You're asking them question. How did they feel about this question? You're looking at a facial expression, their posture as well. So all of this makes up the non-verbal communication as well. Their smile, their facial expression such as if they're smiling, for instance, as if they're engaging in an activity, it's important that you focus on you, you observe verbal communication as well. You're definitely going to know whether they like this activity in relation to observation. The official expression will tell you whether this what like to do. So this is all about language development. In my next video, I'm going to continue from where I stop in relation to the other aspects of holistic development in early childhood. Hi right, guys, I'm interested in this video, in this two way next time. Don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, turn on that notification bell so that whenever a new video is being dropped on this channel, you'll definitely be the first person to be notified. And until I come your way next time, stay safe and mind yourselves for now. Bye.